Lincoln in the Bardo, George Saunders. It was a book on the afterlife, set in a Washington graveyard during the American Civil War, that was bestowed with Britain's top literary honor. Lincoln in the Bardo sees U.S. President Abraham Lincoln trying to communicate to his dead 11-year-old son, who appears to be caught in a supernatural world between the living and the dead. The story is told mostly in dialogue by dozens of spirits in the graveyard, with a grief-stricken Lincoln at its center. George Saunders says the idea first came to him 20 years ago, and he had some doubts about bringing it to life. If I go in knowing what a story is supposed to be about, it will just be that thing and disappoint everybody. Whereas if I kind of go in from another doorway, which for me is usually my, you know, the sound of the language, or in this case, a lot of the structural things were kind of talking to me, then uh, the story that gets produced is higher than the one I could have imagined in, mm -hmm. in advance. So that's kind of a leap of faith that you, know, you think at, at 58, you should have some kind of mastery, but I think the true mastery is, is to be willing to wade into something and not be sure how it's going to turn out. The novel was praised for its unusual format and writing style, something that many of the shortlisted novels had in common. We tend to think of the novel as being a certain thing that is fixed. Of course it isn't. It's changed over the years and indeed in some ways is still a relatively new art form, a new way of writing. So it's inevitable really that it will change, transform, mutate, experiment and so on. Some take on the political upheaval and societal changes in the world today. All across the country people felt it was the wrong thing. All across the country people felt it was the right thing. Like Scottish because author Ali Smith, whose book Autumn is set against the backdrop of a post-Brexit Britain. In a city swollen by refugees, but still mostly at peace, or at least not yet openly at war. Or Mohsen Hamid's novel Exit West, which highlights mass immigration, oppression and the search for freedom. This year's shortlist was made up of authors from the United States and Britain, some of them well-established writers, others newcomers to the literary world, including a university student who wrote most of her book on her commute to work. But for Saunders, he joins a distinguished group that includes Salman Rushdie, Hilary Mantel, Margaret Atwood, and Yann Martel. The nugget of an idea he said he had 20 years ago grown into literary gold. Catherine Stansel, Al Jazeera, London.